at you with Johnny. That's right. And we're here to do a lovely beer review for you today. And you can see on the bottle, we have whose picture? It's a blo all blacked out. Who is it? Uh, I don't know. It's Santa Incognito. That's right. Because in Politically Correct California, they know like you when you put San Santa on the bottle. At least that's what I read somewhere. So they kind of black them out so the kids don't get confused with this being a Christmas drink. I think Santa got a whole bunch of coal. Or he just went down the chimney a little too many times. <laughs> exactly. I think in the summer one, he's sitting there in a wife beater and some uh, some, some drawl. So, who knows? So, as I was saying, we've got Santa's little helper today from Port Brewing out of San Marcos, California, U.S. of A. Yay, yay. Tell him about the particulars of the beer, Johnny. Well, it's a Russian Imperial Stout. 10.5 ABV, right. 70 IBUs. It is bottle condition with two raw tumult wheat, uh, caravine, caramel, crystal chocolate, roasted barley, wan barley, and pale chocolate. <laughs> and, you know, the hops are Magnum and Centennial. I should get a good sneeze off of this. And the yeah. yeast is a house ale. Yes. Wow, look at the head on that thing. Jeez. Jeez. So, did you tell me it's 10.5%? Yes, it did. Okay, yeah. Now, this is a winter version, like Johnny was saying. And, man, look, that's an impressive head on the beard. It's super thick, solid two and a quarter fingers, super oh, tightly packed bubbles. It is fresh. Okay. Yep. They say this is the one you could sell her, but we're not selling it. We're drinking it. It's pretty much pick, pitch black. I only see a little tiny bit of light down the bottom of the, of the stem connection here, but that's it. Besides that, it's really black when you swirl it. The mega head <laughs> makes plenty of glass, lazy, and tons of alcohol legs. Nice looking beer. It looks like a Russian Imperial Stout. Let's see what it smells like. Char. Yeah, char. A little bit of dark fruit, some raisins. I'm in a dirt mood tonight. Dirt mood? I don't know. I'm smelling dirt. Like, <laughs> like earthy hops made dirt, maybe? Yeah, I guess, but Magnum and Centennial? Man, yeah, Magnum may do that a little earthy a little bit. Centennial, I don't know. Not getting like a lot of hop aromas. I'm getting some dark chocolate, coffee, a lot of roast, a little bit of booze, yeah, some, some dark chocolate. fruits, and that's about it. It's your typical, you know, imperial stuff. And the the roast level smells a lot like the uh, the uh, Trump card non bourbonate barrel aged out. Yeah. Mhm. Mm smells nice enough, mate. I'm diving in. He's still smelling. I'm gonna try. Oh, cheers. Wow. Oh, hello, booze. I, I, I feel I could light a lighter right now, and the, the booze would light up for me. Are you getting that? I'm getting booziness. I'm getting a lot of hoppiness. Mm -hmm. Dry. I'm getting some fruits. It, it's just a whole tornado of flavors. It's a lot of roast. Yeah, that's right. It's a lot of roast. The hop is as big as the roast level, fresh like this. That earthiness you were talking about is totally in there. It, it, but I get fruitiness. I get yep. the char. I get the earth. I get the hops. I mean, and, it's and there's like like a dose of booze in there too. I'm not getting the, the booze as much. I can feel it, you yep. know, but not the taste. I get to a to bit me, it's it. almost like a little bit like. Like medicinal kind of alcohol taste. And that's where I may be tasting it. It's almost like a, a fruity medicine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. It's a lot of flavors. It's like you're getting a lot of bitter from the hop and a lot of bitter from the roast all at the same time. And like the coffee flavors I'm getting, it's got like a medium mouthfeel. The carbonation, as you saw from the head, is really translated into the beer. It's pretty <clears throat> zippy. Yeah. The carbonation. Like, you see this head? Well, that's no joke. It's coming through right right through in the beer. I mean, this may... I mean, to me, it tastes like one that maybe should be cellared. I don't know. I don't know. It, but, it's, wow. It's, it's it's just, like... It's, it's not wild. It's not bad. No. But it's like, it assaults you when you drink this. I mean, maybe that's what Santa needs after being on the fucking sleigh all night long. He needs a big-ass beer that just busts him up in the mouth. But, Wow. It's almost. Do you ever have secrets? Mm-hmm. 
It's like yeah. the cherry flavor sucret at the very end when you're inhaling the last little bit, and that's where you get the alcohol, the cherry, medicinal flavor, dry, mm -hmm. roasted char. It's just wow, bizarre. I'm, I'm getting a little like licorice almost too. Yeah. Right? Very much so. You know, so. it's like, have you ever heard of those fisherman, Fisherman's Friend cough drops? It's almost like, it's like that, that or Ricola or something. It's yeah, all mixed. It's it's it's, it's, it's like, like, yeah, like a Ricola. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like one of those Ricola lozenges because they, they have that chocolatey kind of caramel thing going on too and all those herbs at one time, it's which is like the hops. It almost tastes like Coca-Cola gummy bears. You know those cola gummy bears? Yeah. <laughs> this I is mean, so Fucked up here. I mean, it's weird. I mean, usually we're not reaching for like gummy bear and Ricola as the flavors or sucrets, but, but these are what they're reminding you. <laughs> it's it's a it's a it, it's a you know what this kind of reminds me of drinking this when we drank that Fernet Porter. Oh, that was odd. Remember yeah. that was like that yeah. big, but that was more I don't know expected kind of mm -hmm. herb earthiness because if you've had Fernet, I'm you've... not expecting this out of this beer. No, I mean it's. I mean the. The, if you look at the ingredients we talked about, it looks pretty straightforward and everything, but they must have hopped the hell out of this. It must be what it's coming from. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's... So you see we're a little perplexed. I think once you get drinking it, the alcohol's better hidden than I first thought. It's more of that warming the chest. That first hit or taste of it I got kind of gets washed away by the assault of other flavors that are in this. So we got to grade this. Rape beer is saying... Well, no, no, our buddy's over at Rape beer. 10.5%. 99. Ding, 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 ding. Are you surprised? No. We're not. The dudes over at Beer Advocate give it a 90. You get A-. minus. Okay, it's a Russian Imperial Stout. Mm. It's a Russian Imperial Stout. Yes. It, it's unique. It's fresh. Uh -huh. I, I'm going to give it an 89. I, I like it. It's uh, it's just bizarre. I mean, I would buy it again. Just you know, it, it's 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 just a different beer. I, I like it. I, I'd buy this and sell it again. I think it may improve. You drink it fresh, like I, this. I, I'd like to see what it tastes like yeah. cellared. I mean, I don't know if I'd go back and buy this and seek it out fresh again because it it just it's just not Good. my my thing with a Russian Imperial. It's different. It, this kind of reminds me of a a less well done in some ways Night Stalker because I remember how Night Stalker was that like like black IPA on steroids yeah, I, and this is almost that it's but it's got like this herbaceous thing going on that I, Night Stalker didn't have yeah I can't compare those two <laughs> I'm kind of digging here I don't know what the hell to compare this to that's the thing there's nothing it's a Russian Imperial Stout it's just <laughs> really bizarre, herby and earthy kind of thing. So I'm gonna go with an 88. I think B plus to A minus is kind of a fair grade for this beer. Other folks may dig in more because they like that that more herbal thing going on. Um, I'd like to see myself what this would be like cellared once the hops tamp down a little bit. I think it would be a really different beer. What what are you getting from the hops? I'm getting like this medicinal herby taste. You think that's coming from the Magnum, then? Maybe. I don't think that I get that out of Centennial. You haven't sneezed yet? No, I haven't. Which I'm surprised. Maybe it's a uh, Magnum. Maybe Centennial. it is Cascades. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's Cascades. <laughs> we're, but we're narrowing it down. I mean, it's like I said, it's not a bad beer, but it's it's not one I would necessarily seek out again. I would drink it fresh again if offered. Yeah, but I don't think I would seek it out and go, oh, i got to buy that again. Um, I might pick one up to sell her if I had a wild hair that day, but really I don't have much hair, so that's another story. But anyways, you're hearing what we're grading for. We gave it a, a like a B plus ourselves, saying it could possibly be an A minus for some folks. You got enough for both of us here. Um, let us know what you think. We like that back and forth. We like to know what you you know, because we don't maybe know everything. Johnny knows he like. Oh, is that for me? Oh, you wanted a wild hair. Uh, no, 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 that's okay. We'll pass. That's P.A. Bear New stuff. Paul, huh, would you like this beer? Mm. It's got an earthy taste to it. He what did dig. you just say? Yes, that's P.A. Bear New stuff. What did you just say? <sighs> bad. <laughs> Evil influence, Paul and Johnny. Bad curses to you. Got him. <laughs>
You finish it off. All right. Uh, drink locally, think locally, rate, comment, subscribe, watch us more, send us more beer, even more like this. And, uh, you know, I think I said everything. Uh, so, uh, love us, like us, comment, rate, subscribe right. again. So, we'll go for a big peace out.